Now, in line with the renewed UP agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the representatives of River State and the NDDC board to Nukoja embarked on a massive inspection tour of most of the NDDC projects currently ongoing in several local areas of River State. The private inspection tour, which is captioned Renewed Hope is Real, commenced at Umwechem uh, um, in uh, Eche Lokingham area with uh, the inspection of two units of modern semi detached two bedroom apartments for teachers' quarters and a state of the art three bedroom apartment for the principal's quarters at the finishing level. Addressed the newsmen are uh, the groundbreaking of the uh, second unit of the semi detached two bedroom apartment teachers' quarters. The quarter owes the people to support President Tunibu's renewed OPA agenda, which is said uh, has brought this project to the community, as he also cautioned the youth against participating in unnecessary protests. The permanent ruler, uh, Uchima, Uchimba of uh, Umwechem, its royal highness, Aziz Samson Emu, expressed gratitude to the seventh governing board of the NDDC for finding their community worthy of this significant project. Lamented that there has been has never been a government project cited in the community, despite the fact that the community has about 53 oil wells. This project is a project, one of the projects of Mr. President Bola Ahmed, and it is consistent with his team, renewed hope. In addition to seeing how our projects are going is to sermonize, to preach against violence. Protest is legal, is constitutional. The constitution allows protest as an avenue for anybody to be able to press down his or her needs. So if our people from here are even thinking of protesting, nobody can gag you. What we will only say is that let the protest be as peaceful and let the essence of it be what will be done. But seeing that day you come and help us to flag up this thing, we are happy. Because since 1957, Shell came in and influenced a tech talk like this COVID 19. They came back again in 1958. The poor people we have been suffering a lot. We have about 14 locations and nothing is done to us. But today, I'm telling you, we are happy. The entire merchant people are happy. Because it's through you. We know that the president is aware of us, he are coming. But except that the idea maybe it will not reach us. But may God bless you. Uh, in Soki community located in the Akukuto Lokigama area, the construction of the WHO standard 10,000 gallon solar powered portable water project is ongoing and nearing completion. The spokesperson for Soki community expressed gratitude to the NDDC board for fulfilling a promise to ensure that the incessant outbreak of cholera in Soki community is permanently controlled through the provision of portable water, among other numerous interventions from the Commission. Speaking with newsmen, Tony Grota commended the community for their support in ensuring that the project is progressing rapidly. As emphasized that the numerous projects of the NDDC currently underway in many communities in River State underscore President Tunibu's commitment to improving the lives of the people of River State and the Niger Delta at large. These projects are done under the renewed hope agenda. It was the president that authorized NDDC to go to the region and develop the region. If one sounds very well, I will have no reason to fail. So we use this opportunity to plead with our people who are somewhat misled to believing that protests or any of such things can be a solution to the problems of Nigeria. The problem of Nigeria didn't start with Bola Ahmed Tinibu. It's an, been an age-long thing. He needs your prayers and not condemnation so far. The Robert representative in the board, Chief uh, Tony Okota, he has been very instrumental to alleviating the pains and several from the pains of the community. Now you are reason why solar water. The water here is such that it is hard. 
All that that means there is manganese and calcium. So you can do encrustation. Encrustation, for those who do not understand, corrosion. If you fetch buckets and all that, it corrodes it. That is one of the things. So they, this project was intended to address it such that it is these contaminants in water that causes the gastrointestinal and other waterborne diseases. So that is what this project is set to address. Now, the, the community is not then, uh, powered by electric grid, elect, the, the national grid. What we use is generator. And all of us know the problems of generator, epileptic nature and all that, swelling, dieseling and all that. Let there be solar. The sun is free for us to use. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.